Hey everyone, welcome to Patrick Duga Music. Today we're going to learn how to play At Last by Etta James on the guitar. Please remember to like this video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's get started. Alright, to play this song we need to know 18 different chords on the guitar. If you know these chords already, that's great. You can go ahead and skip ahead. If not, let's learn them right now. We're going to start with an F major chord. This is a bar chord on the guitar, which means that your index finger is going to be holding more than one string. In this case, you're extending the index finger all the way across the first fret from string one all the way up to string six. We're trying to get the placement of this finger close to this edge of this fret wire right here without going over. And then go ahead and put your middle finger on string number three, second fret. Put your ring finger on string 5, 3rd fret, and pinky finger goes on string 4, 3rd fret. Now in order to get this chord to sound right, you have to get the placement of this index finger just right. So part of what I'm doing there is I have my thumb on the back, and I'm pushing my wrist forward so that these knuckles are out in front of the guitar neck. That allows me to keep this finger nice and straight. So if my hand wasn't pushed forward like that, it would be nearly impossible to get this index finger to extend straight like that. Cool, so there's a little bit of a trick with this F chord, and it has to do with your thumb on the back of the neck and pushing your wrist forward so that you can get this finger placed just right. Cool, so that's an F major. The next one, F7, is really similar. All we have to do is remove our pinky finger to get to an F7. After that comes a B flat 7. This is another bar chord. Your index finger is still going to be in the first fret, but just holding down strings 5 through 1. So you don't have to worry about string 6 on this one. So index finger is barring in the first fret. Put your ring finger on string number 4, third fret and pinky finger goes on string 2, 3rd fret. We're going to strum this from the 5th string down. This is B flat 7. And then to get to the next one, B diminished 7, all we need to do is add our middle finger here to string 5, 2nd fret. So in the song, these chords are going to come one right after another. So you'll do B flat 7, then you'll add this middle finger on string 5 for B diminished 7. After that comes another version of F major, which is called F over C. I actually prefer this um, fingering for an F chord more than the bar chord fingering because the wrist is a little bit more comfortable when holding this one. But we're still going to bar a little bit. I'm going to have to bar strings 1 and 2 on the first fret my index. Put your middle finger on string 3, second fret. Ring finger goes up to string 5, third fret. And pinky goes to string 4, third fret. So we're strumming from the fifth string down. That's an F over C chord, but you can also use this voicing or this fingering for your F major chord, which I am actually going to be doing later on in this song. So that's F over C. Up next comes D7. This one is sort of a backwards triangle shape. Put your index finger on string 2, first fret. Middle finger goes to string 3, second fret. And ring finger goes to string 1, second fret. We're going to strum from the fourth string down here, D7. <laughs> Great. Now we are on to the next line of chords. Up next comes a D flat 9. This is a type of dominant 7th chord. This is really D flat dominant 7 or D flat 7 plus tension 9 is what that means. Um, so this is going to be located up around the 3rd and 4th frets. I would say start with your middle finger on string number 5, 4th fret. Then add your index finger to string number 4, 3rd fret. 
Then we're gonna lay our ring finger flat. We're actually gonna be barring here, and this ring finger is gonna be doing a little bit of a, a back bend to it, to push down here, and I'm holding down strings one, two, and three with this middle finger. This is D flat nine. Now if you have trouble barring this ring finger like that, then you could use, put this on the tip of the finger and add your pinky onto string two and just cut string one out of the chord. This will still sound like it. Cool, so this is a D flat nine. And then we're gonna slide over to the second and third frets for C9. It's the same uh, fingering. It's just slid to the left one fret. This is C9. Again, you could bar here, like I'm doing with the ring finger. Notice how my finger curves backwards there. Just kind of no other way to get around that unless you're holding it a little different, but on my hand, this finger is going to bend backwards a little bit there. Again, you could use your ring and your pinky to sort of work around that if your hand doesn't want to do that. That's a C9. Up next comes D minor 7. This is kind of like that F over C chord, um, but not as many fingers. So you're going to ha have your index finger barring strings 1 and 2 on the 1st fret. Put your middle finger on 2nd fret string 3, and that's it, and then we're going to strum from the 4th string down. This is D minor 7. After that comes a G minor 7, another bar chord here. Put your middle finger on string number 6, 3rd fret, and then your ring finger is going to do that back that back bend move again and it's going to hold down strings 4, 3, 2 and even 1 if you can get it. We're skipping over string 5. So I have fingers 2 and 3 here. Right? Finger 3 my ring finger is bending backwards this way while my middle finger is curving forwards this way. And I have them sort of stacked right on top of each other. That's actually going to make this easier to get these fingers right on next to each other like that. This is G minor 7. If you don't get string 1 to work on this one, don't worry about it. Strings uh, 6 through 2 will be just fine. Alright, up next comes an E7. This one's a little bit easier. Put your index finger on string number three, first fret. And your middle finger goes to string number five, second fret. And we're gonna strum all the strings. Cool, after that comes an A minor. Put your index finger on string number two, first fret. Middle finger goes to string number four, second fret and ring finger goes to string number three, second fret. This is A minor. And if we want to make this, turn this into an A minor seven, which we're gonna have an opportunity to do that, we can just lift the ring finger away. And it becomes A minor seven. So with the ring finger is A minor. Take the ring finger, lift the ring finger away is A minor seven. After that comes a G7. Put your index finger on string 1, 1st fret. Middle fingers up on string 5, 2nd fret. Ring fingers on string 6, 3rd fret. This is kind of like a C chord that gets stretched apart like that. Strumming all the strings. Just a few chords left here. Um, up next is C major 7. This one is comparatively easy to some of the other chords we've been doing. We just need two fingers. Put your middle finger on string 4, 2nd fret, and your ring finger on string 5, 3rd fret. And that's it. And we're going to strum from the 5th string down. That's a C major 7. 
Up next is a C sharp diminished seven. Start by putting your middle finger on the fourth fret string five. Then put your ring finger on fifth fret string four. Pinky finger goes to fifth fret string two. And last is your index finger goes to third fret string three. C sharp diminished. Um, we played this chord earlier and we were barring with the index finger. If you wanted to bar there to grab string one in addition to the other uh, strings, you could. And this is C sharp diminished seven. Just three chords left. After that comes a C major. Index finger, first fret string two. Middle finger, second fret string four. Ring finger, third fret string five. Strumming from the fifth string down. Followed by C7, add your pinky finger to string number three, third fret, to turn your C major into a C7. And the last chord here is an F6. This is the chord we're gonna end the song on. Um, so this is like the F major bar chord we did at the beginning. Right, so I've got my index finger barring across on the first fret. My middle finger is on string three, second fret. Have my ring finger on string five, third fret. And instead of having my pinky right here on string four, third fret, I'm gonna drop my pinky down to string two, third fret. Now I'm going to do a little slight something with my index finger here too. I'm going to curve this finger just a tiny bit by just kind of clenching that muscle a little bit. And the goal is to, um, the goal is to, to mute string four, to prevent string four from being in the chord. It's not, a, it's not the end of the world if you do get that note in there, um, but by curving this finger just a hair, you got to be able to mute that one. And what you're left with is an F6, which has a nice creamy sound to it. All right, so we just did a lot of chords there. Um, if you need to see these chords again, go ahead and rewind that last section and uh, go over these a few more times. Otherwise, we're gonna jump into the song. So um, on this chart, I have chords and lyrics. I don't actually have the intro or the outro single note instrumental part notated here. The part I'm talking about is like... That sort of a thing. So we're not doing that part today, but I encourage you to look that one up on your own if you're interested in it. We're just gonna be working with the chords and the lyrics today. All right, so the chords on the intro section that are playing underneath that melody part. All right, so we're gonna need F major two times. Then lift your pinky away to make it F7. Moving to a B flat seven. Two strums, add your middle finger to turn this into a B diminished seven. That's second fret string five. Then we're going to F over C two times. D seven two times. D flat nine on the third and fourth frets down to C9 on the second and third frets. And we're just gonna play this one here and let it ring. All right, let's try that intro again. So get ready with your F major chord. Here we go. Two, ready, and is F. Pinky away, F7, B flat seven. Add your middle finger, B diminished. F over C, D7, D 
flat nine, C nine and let it ring. So those are the chords for the intro. Let's try that one last time. F major, ready, go is F, F7, B flat seven, B diminished, F over C, D7, D flat nine, C nine. And this is where verse one comes in. Now before we get going on verse one, I just want to mention about the, the timing of this song. So the groove of this song feels like a slow 4-4, four, four, like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But it's actually in 6-8 or 12-8 time, depending on how you want to count it. And each one of those beats is divided in three, so it's like, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve eight would be the same sort of a feel. You're just counting all the way up to twelve. So that would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the subdivision there underneath those slow beats, each one of those is getting divided in three, right? So it's like one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So it feels like a slow 4-4 four, four song, but this is actually 12-8 time. Okay, so I'm gonna be playing with the F over C chord for my F chord during the verses, right? And let's take a look at these changes real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the F over C chord as my default F chord on the verses. We're gonna strum this twice. Keep fingers one and two in place for D minor seven. G minor seven is this bar chord on the third fret. Then staying on the third fret, I'm dropping down a string with these two fingers and adding my index finger for C9. Then we do it again. F major, or F over C. Fingers one and two stay in place, D minor seven. Bar on the third fret, G minor seven. Drop these fingers down a string each. Add your index finger, string four. We're gonna do that again. F major, D minor seven, G minor seven, C nine. After doing that three times in a row, we then go on to the last part. We go to the turnaround where it's F, D7, D flat nine, C9. Okay, so let's try that verse one again. Notice that this chord progression, we do F, D minor seven, G minor seven, C9, once, twice, three times in a row, and then the chords are a little different here at the end. Okay, so let's try that again. And here's the chord diagrams real quick in case you need to take a peek at any of those. Okay, we're starting on the F major again. Ready, go is F. Fingers one and two stay, D minor seven, G minor seven on the third fret. Drop it down a string, add your index, C nine. Do it again, F over C, D minor seven, G minor seven, C nine. 
We're doing it a third time. I'm just doing down strokes with my right hand. F, D minor seven, G minor seven, C nine. And here is the turnaround or the last section here where the chord's a little different. F, D seven, D flat nine on the fourth fret over to C9 on the third fret. So that's verse one. Let's try that much with the lyrics. One, two, ready, go. At last, my love has come on. are over and life is like a song here's the different chords D7 D flat 9 yeah yeah C9 going into verse number 2 it starts off the same until you get to the end so it's F again Ready, go at last. D minor seven. The sky's above blue. D minor seven. My heart's wrapped up in clover. The night that I... Here's some different chords here. F major. I'm going to use the bar chord here. Looked at you to B flat 7 like we did in the intro. Here's what that one looks like real quick. Two strums there. Back to F. So that was two strums on F, two strums B flat seven, four strums on F. Okay, we're heading into the bridge. Starts on G minor seven, bar in here in the third fret. So two strums here, down a string, add your index, C9, F major, or F over C, D minor 7 to an E7 twice, F7 once, back to E7. I'm just going to slide my hand over. That's going to be easier. So one strum a piece there. And then A minor two times. And then let go of your ring finger to make it minor 7. Or don't, you could also just do four strums on an A minor there. Either way. On to the next line, it's D minor seven twice. G seven twice. C major seven. C sharp diminished. This one's up on the third, fourth, and fifth frets. Here's a look at that. Two strums there. Cool, so that was us on the C-sharp diminished seven. Got two strums. Then we're back to a D minor seven. G seven again. Two strums. Then C major. Add your pinky for C7. And that's the bridge section. Let's try that again. It starts on the G minor 7. Here we go. One, two, go. I found a dream, C9, that I could speak to. D minor 7. A dream that Like 
Echo of the Ring. I found a thrill. G7. To press my cheek to. C sharp diminished. Last line, D minor 7. A thrill that I, I have never known. Had the pinky. We're back to the verse. Last verse, F major. You smiled. D minor 7. G minor 7. Oh, and then the spell was cast. D minor 7. And here we are in heaven. D minor 7. G minor 7. For you are mine. Going to the outro, which is just like the intro. F major, I'm gonna use the bar chord here. At last, take the pinky away, F7. B flat seven, B diminished seven. Just added that middle finger there. F over C, D7. D flat nine. C9, here comes our last chord, F6. Remember this one's like, it's like an F major bar chord. I'm gonna drop my pinky down to string two. Here's what these chords look like one more time. Take a second to look these chords over and then we're gonna try putting the whole thing together. Okay, here we go on the intro, starting with the F major bar chord. Two, ready, go is F, F7, B flat seven, B diminished seven, F over C, D7, D flat nine, C9, and hang out here for a second. Verse one starts on an F. At last, my love has come along. My lonely days are over. Life is like a song. D7, D flat 9, C9. Verse 2, and last. The skies above are blue. My heart was wrapped up in clover The night that I looked at you B flat 7 Back to F 2 3 4 to the bridge G minor 7 I found a dream C9 that I could speak to A dream that I, I could call my own Lift the ring finger off I found a thrill To press my cheek to A thrill that I have never known at the pinky verse 3 you smile you smile 
Oh, and then the spell was cast And here we are in heaven For you are mine Outro At last Pinky comes on at seven, at the middle, F over C, D seven, D flat nine, C nine, F six. All right, so good job. I know there's a lot of chords in this song, but once you get past the chords, the rest of this is kind of easy. There's only three verses and one bridge. So it's kind of a short song. There's just a lot of chord changes. These are fairly common chords, so hopefully you know some of these already. And if you don't, you're sure to see these in other songs, so they're worth learning. So start by learning these chords. Make sure you have these down. And then see if you can strum along. And you can even put on the um, original recording by Etta James and strum along with that as well. Cool, so that's about the size of it. Thanks for watching. Take your time with these bar chords. Remember the technique. Getting your wrist forward and your thumb kind of lower on the back of the neck is going to be the key to getting those to work out right. Cool, so be patient with these chords. We don't need to squeeze any harder than is necessary to push the strings down. So if you find yourself squeezing really, really tight, um, try to relax a little bit. Also, if your hand starts to get stiff while you're working on this, take a break. Um, we don't want to injure our wrist or our, uh, any of these little muscles or tendons in our hand while we're learning new chords. So just go slow, go at your own pace. Cool, until you can do these chords comfortably and then put it all together. Remember that we're going for progress, not perfection. So keep up the practice, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.